Good morning. Welcome to Morning Inspiration with Just Joycelyn. This is In School in a Pandemic. And the way this works, basically this is a chronicle, daily chronicle, of how my life is going and the inspiration that God gives me as I have returned back to school as an educator in a hybrid model. So hybrid is in person and it's also uh, students are virtual. And if this video adds any value or my channel if it's added any value to your life if you would take a moment hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can see every time that i post and if you like anything that's being said go ahead and hit that like and then leave a comment if you have something to say because i know you guys are having something to say about what i'm talking about all right so today um first of all I just want to uh, thank God and give him glory for how he protects us and keeps us. You know, yesterday I was talking about peace and, you know, I had a situation arise yesterday where, you know, I got a little rattled and it's interesting. When you ask God to help you with something, he going to give you opportunity to grow you in an area. He going to give you opportunity and it's like a little testing of your faith. And so I had like a little testing uh, happen yesterday, uh, yesterday of my peace and uh, I was like, okay. All right, you know, I had, had a little moment. I had a little moment, you know, but I thank God um, by the end of the day, um, I was back into my uh, my place of peace. So just telling you guys to continue just to trust him and know that, you know, while you're in this and you're growing, that you will have moments of oh, where you don't, you don't act in ways where you really, really, you wanted to but that's okay <laughs> as long as you don't stop keep pressing on keep trying in christ that's what he's looking for and two i'm thankful for people that he's surrounded around me to remind me one of my co-workers she was kind of like remember what you said the other day and i was like okay i got you <laughs> So it helps to have people around you that's encouraging as well and remind you to hold you accountable right okay so today I'm looking at uh, Luke uh, chapter 22, and the whole theme of this thing is being a servant. Oh my goodness. And so what you basically had in this scripture, you had uh, disciples, and they start kind of talking and feeling themselves, you know, and say, okay, you know, who is the greatest among us? And they having like discussions and stuff. So who can be the greatest? And Jesus is so radical. He hits them with one of these numbers. You know, he was like, okay, so this is in Luke 22 and 27. And he says, so for who is greater? Um, the one who reclines at the table or the one who serves? Is it not the one who reclines at the table, but I am among you as one who serves? And then above that in uh, verse number 26, he says, rather let the greatest among you become as the youngest and the leader as one who serves. So case of point, if you want to be in charge, please know that you are serving other people. That's the way it goes. And so as we are servants, if you're in any kind of a position of authority, you are not to lord it over the people. It's not about people worshiping you and trying to give you everything that you want. No, no, you are a servant. You are a servant. Let me say it again. You are a servant. And, you know, Jesus kind of rocked their minds with that because up until that point, it was all about even the Pharisees himself. Slick wanted to be worshipped by people. Slick wanted to be revered and praised by other folks. And Jesus came in with this whole serving thing and just changed the whole atmosphere. So today, if you are in any kind of authority position, please know that you are a servant. You are a servant to the people under you and God holds you accountable. He holds you accountable for those people that are under you those people that he's entrusted to you Woo! and teachers these kids that he's given to us oh lord jesus help us today these kids that he's entrusted to us we are we are to be servants to our communities and to our families oh that's a rough word but let's go to god in prayer god we thank you so much for your who for how you model for us, Lord, how we are to live our lives, Lord God. God, I pray, Lord God, that you touch us, that you strengthen us, Lord God. Help us to walk in such a way that gives you glory. And God, even during those hard uh, human moments, Lord God, where our hearts are tested, our spirits are tested, our, our morals are tested, Lord God, help us to continue to choose you in each and every decision and give us the wisdom, bless you, give us the wisdom to be able to do so. Lord, we love you, God. We thank you and we praise you for our brothers and sisters who do not know you. I pray that that they will receive and understand that the only thing that they need to do is believe that your son Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins and rose again and if you just believe that you are saved and I welcome you to the body of Christ and if you are somebody 
right now you're not feeling him, please know he is not forcing himself on you, but when you are ready to receive him, he'll be standing right there. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, bless you. If y'all don't know, so sometimes you see this awesome individual in the background who is trying to turn her face and hide. This is my beautiful and wonderful daughter. <laughs> so that's who this is in the background if you're wondering. Sometimes she's my videos. Uh, Pre-teening. But anyway, well, no, teen teening. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're a teen now. But anyway, so thank you guys so much for uh, watching. Go ahead and hit that uh, subscribe button and that notification bell. And please send me a comment. Um, hopefully this has encouraged you as this word has encouraged me and, and stretched me to do a little bit better uh, in my daily life. All right, well, you guys have a great day. This has been Morning Inspiration, and I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Have a wonderful Wednesday.